The Cheese Boy 628 Show, starring Cheese Boy 628. Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Cheese Boy 628 here, and I'm actually giving you an upload. Yeah, it might be a little bit weird now. It has kind of been three weeks, I realized. Long story short, college is definitely busy. I have two more weeks, and then I'm going home, and then I'll have slightly more time, and I mean slightly to uh, do some uploads but yeah I mean I have some content it's just I really haven't had the time or motivation to uh, upload and you know render and everything because I mean college is grabbing me by the horns right now I've really got to take care of these last two weeks school is important folks so anyway I have the volume off here let's just have some motion so it looks like this video actually has some animation um, so what this video is about is just uh, there have been quite a number of comments, this is why I have this here. Um, one person on this one, there's been a number of them before, but like, how would one go about becoming part of this league? By the way, shout out to the cool guy gross. Man, I remember you from forever ago. Um, anyway, uh, like I don't want to rant right now, but I really appreciate that you're still around. Cheese Todd, that is the perfect term. Thank you so much, man. But yes, good question, Richard. Um, how does one go bar, bar this league? And I just want to, um, let's see where there were other, I know there were other comments that were talking about it. Um, let's see. Anyway, while I try to find them, basically the question is just like, how do I get involved in this league? Because it's, it's very fun stuff. It is indeed. Um, so, to be honest, I hate to say it, but there's no, like, guaranteed... Uh, there's no guaranteed answer as to how this is possible. I'm trying to find these comments, man. How do we get stuff in the- here, here we go. How do we get into stuff like this, Cheese? Or rather, how did you? Um, so yeah. Uh, by the way, I don't think my roommate would do a dual commentary with me. <laughs> uh, let's just make that long story short. Anyway, um, so yeah, those are the questions. How did I get into this? Um, how do you guys get into it? So, what happened was, uh, months ago, there was a tournament hosted by the token minorities. And the number one and, like, number two and three people got, like, cash prizes or whatever. So, like, I entered that and I got first place. Um, I actually have to upload the last video for that. So, spoilers for those who, because none of you have seen it yet. But if you're interested in joining, you know, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about that. Anyway, I got first there, and I also knew the token minorities from a good bit because I was in a tournament with them before that, and um, basically I started getting involved in some leagues with them after that because I proved that I was a good player from that. And so, basically, uh, Jolt of the token minorities tells me, hey, we got some, we had this league going on, and I got some buddies in it, and so I was just wondering if you want to uh, try out for it. I was like, okay, sure. So I faced this one guy, um, and I won like 4-0 or something like that. We just brought our own unique teams, whatever, so be it. Um, but yeah, I had a convincing win, and so there was like a jury for it. Jury, I guess you could say. There was a vote, and so for the... Um, so it was decided that I would uh, be allowed to come in. So basically, as it's called, I don't know, I always forget what the team is called, but um, like most of the teams are already established. So I was a secondary team, so most of the good pokes are already picked. So that's why my team is so UU. Not in this video, because this is actually a good league that I'll talk about in a second. Um, but yeah, basically, um, what, what happened was, since then, like, I picked my team, have my battles, you know, hack sometimes. We're not talking about that right now. Anyway, the point is, the way I got into it was I knew some people YouTube-wise, and I also proved that I was a good battler. So, I mean, this is already kind of hinting at, unfortunately, some negative stuff for just people who, like, watch videos, is that... Usually it's for the people who are YouTubing because what they do afterwards is you're supposed to upload your battle in commentary each week, which I'm kind of lacking at the moment, which is why I'm actually going to do some editing after this video. But yeah, the point is like you're going to want to have to do, you're going to want first to have recording software because if you don't have that, 
then you can't provide commentary afterwards and you can't see how people are learning um, from the mistakes or like excellent plays, why they had the mindset or why they did what they did. So make sure you know how to record at the very least if you're not a YouTuber already. If you're a YouTuber, it'll give you some help. If you have a little bit of publicity, that'll also help you. Um, but second, another way to do it is just to participate in tournaments. I know the second place person in the uh, last Token Minorities tournament was also offered a position related to this, I believe, and they're somehow involved. Um, I'm not really sure if they ended up doing it or not. I don't remember if they're a YouTuber, but either way, the, uh, the line at which they would have to, like the, um, Sorry, I had to turn off my light there. <laughs> that, um, th I'm trying to think of the word, but the, like the qualification is that you have to know how to record, edit, and post online. Simple as that. So, um, then you have to prove your worth. And I have this video here just because Shady Penguin, there's another league like this called the GBA, um, just like the NBL. Um, hi Shady, good to see you. Um, so, but yeah, I was just saying that because there's multiple leagues that do this. Um, and you don't need to be super famous. I mean, Shady Penguin has a ton of subs. There are people who have like a couple thousand in comparison to him, and they're all in the same league. So you don't need to be super famous, but you've got to be known as a decent battler at least, or like contact YouTubers, let them know, hey, I'm interested. Is there an op? Is it possible that I could come in as like a secondary team? That kind of thing. So other than that. I don't know if there's really too much. I wanted to answer this question. I didn't want to look like, oh, I'm ignoring all these questions. But yeah, um, if you can't do that, you know, it consists of like eight teams usually. I don't know, probably more teams than that. Let's look at, yeah, team overview. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 12 here. Um, but for fear, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can have 10, you can have 12 players. It doesn't really matter. The, what I'm trying to say is like you can organize your own leagues as well. I mean, why sh why would you be forbidden from doing that? So, and this is actually a little surprise for the future because fear is back. In case you guys didn't notice, we went like two weeks in and then it stopped. But we're back, and you'll see uploads from that too. So yeah, I'm still in two leagues, and it's because I'm involved with Jolt from the Token Minorities. Like he knows both of these groups, so that's how I was able to get involved. So all I'm trying to say is, in the end, be a good battler, expose yourself to other YouTubers, um, or organize your own, and just prove that you're a good battler. Um, probably as simple as that, honestly. Um, so if you guys are interested, then that that's the way to go. And I definitely wish you guys the best of luck in that. Let me know how it goes, whether you're interested, like, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment and I'll try to respond to those. And until next time, guys, with probably a video very much related to this, whether it's NBL or NPL or Fear. So thank you all for watching. Like, comment, sub, and until later, peace.